You see shorty just a swallow where I fucked her, then I followed her She thinks she a model cause she fucking a photographer I can't fuck with niggas, all these niggas, they some followers A lot of people have been commenting, saying, you know, when are you dropping merch? Uh, stuff like that I kind of want to build up the audience, you know, create a core fan base before I start asking you guys to buy shit of mine And I want it to be shit that you guys will actually rep and like And, you know, it's not like merch, it's like an actual streetwear brand So I'm waiting for that until I get my bearings straight on that and stuff. So hopefully that'll come in 2022. Um, anyways, I know a lot of, I'm gonna have a lot more viewers than I usually do because this is a mime video, or at least I'm thinking I am. Um, if you guys like any of the stuff on this channel, other than the mime shit, subscribe. I don't ask for likes and shit like that because I think it's pretty cringe, but um, yeah. We know what drives viewers on YouTube and that's being an asshole. Um, it seems like a lot of the prankster channels, the new ones that are coming up, um, their main whole focus around a video is how bad they can ruin someone's day and uh, be an asshole. I've had my fair share, if you go back to my videos, of being an asshole. Um, I thought that was the whole concept of a video was to piss someone off to the point where I ruin their day and they freak out on me. Um, in this video, I also have the mime footage, so stay around for that. Uh, you guys have been asking for that shit for a while and harassing me in the comments, so that's all in here. But for the first little bit of this video, uh, I'm going to show you what drives viewers, likes, comments, subscriptions. And that's being an asshole and harassing people. Sorry. Are you okay? Stay, stay so. Don't move. This is a perfect angle. I can see everything. Nice. You got chest hair? Sorry? Do you have chest hair by chance? What? Do you have chest hair? Hey, do you know I'm vegan? I just need you to stop moving, you're glitching. Just stay still, would ya? Lost ya. Sign got in the way. Are you serious, man? What? Are you serious? Are you serious? You glitched the binoculars. What? What do you want me to do? I'm vegan. Are we gonna, are, is this gonna be an altercation? Are we gonna kiss? No. We're not? No. Well, why would you, why would you lead me to the thinking that? Wanna try these out? Binoculars? No. It's almost like they got x-ray vision. <laughs> well, there you go. I can see your chest hair. <laughs> There's not much there. Yeah, me neither. I'm still a grown boy. Okay. All right. You got it? Stay still. Did you get the picture you needed? Stay still. I can see everything. You can see everything. Oh, even what your... A, what a lucky guy. Even your chest, even your chest hair. You gotta be kidding. No, I'm being honest. You're amazing. Hold on, stay still. You're glitching it. Would you stay still? I'm busy trying to buy a barbecue. Yeah, well, I'm busy trying to trying to take a good look, you know? What's more important here? Would you just take off and leave me alone? Well, the more you move, the more you glitch it. They're not like the new timer ones. Would you buzz off? One. Like, buzz that guy over there. No, he's not as good looking as you are. You're the best one I've seen yet. Get lost. Like, what's your problem? I was just taking a good look, man. The new binoculars that I got. Well, you took a good look, so buzz off now. Well, you kept moving, so it kept coming yeah, out of the peripheral. It only it can only focus for so long. Go well, yourself. here, this is perfect. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Is he for real? <laughs> I guess he was your mascot or something. Get lost, buddy. I'm trying to buy a barbecue. I don't have time. Uh, are you the barbecue guy? Uh, or get get this guy away from me. Sorry. Get away from me. I buddy. got that one good. I got that one good, I promise. The more you move, the more you went out of focus. Go fuck yourself. Really? Yeah, really. Well, I'll do that later. I can't do it in a Walmart. Yes, you can. No, it's inappropriate. I don't think he would be okay with that. <laughs> Are you an asshole or what?
cash only, eh? Damn. What about if I take my shirt off? If I take my shirt off, I get free ice cream. It's a new rule. I'll even rub my nipples. <laughs> you seen John around here? John, yeah, he doesn't. He got. He doesn't like fat women. I was thinking about uh, buying an ice cream truck when I'm older and doing ice cream. Is it like? Is it a fun little thing? Is it? Could you show me around? I can come in. Sweet, come on in, Rod. Now these are the ins and outs of the ice cream truck. All right, my buddy Phil here. He's gonna give us a little showdown on what to expect. Wow. Now this is sweet. Can I try some of that? Really? Just stick my. He's gonna grab you a cup of Oh. Mmm. Mix that up. Yeah, mix that up. Let me get my finger in there. Sure. Thank you. Oh, wow. Do you ever sleep in here? No. Nope. No? I just bought a van and we put a bed in the back and I'm gonna travel in it. Hey, Phil, do you think I can get your number? I would like to talk business with you. You can give me a card? Sweet. We're gonna get Phil's card. I keep calling you Phil, but I feel bad because Phil's not your real name. Thanks, bud. Hey, what, what was your name again? Jerry. 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 My name's Jake. Jake. Nice to meet you. I'll do you a fist bump here. I'm gonna give you a five for giving us a tour. Thank you, man. Are you sure? You gave me some slushy. What ice cream? <laughs> Pretty sexy though, I can't lie. This is my new uncle Jerry. We're gonna start our own business. It's gonna be called Jake and Jerry's Ice Cream Shop. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna be rolling we're gonna be rolling around the town. We're gonna be tearing it up. These hookers are on him. I would like to come on a trip with you in the ice cream truck one day if that's all right. Okay, well I will be back and I'll be in touch. I got your card. Are you sure I can't give you this five bucks? I know it's not much, but you sure? Nope. Thanks, Jerry. I appreciate it. Can I hug you? <laughs> Thank you, man. Oh, he's walking into a tree. Guys, everybody drop a like on this video. You guys know I don't ask for likes and shit like that. I don't like doing that, but drop a like. We gotta get, we gotta get this channel popping, all right? Because now I have a new dream in my head. I'm gonna do this video shit, and once I get enough money, I'm gonna invest it all into an ice cream business. We're gonna buy an ice cream truck. Me, Riley, Austin, and Jerry, we're gonna go out in the town. We're gonna travel everywhere. We're gonna have like three beds back there. I'm talking a bunk bed and a regular bed. We're gonna be pimping that thing, man. I'm being serious. We're gonna have a stripper pole on that thing. Everybody, if you guys see this video, come to Whippy Beach. O-Dogs, help him out. Great guy, has great ice cream. I had a taste of the slushy and I loved it. All right? All right, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, it's been a while since we did the whole mime gimmick, um, but a lot of people missed it and wanted to see it again. So I figured I would entertain those people. I also put some other stuff in this video that I think you guys really uh, would enjoy. Um, we're working on a lot of new videos. I have a really hilarious prank idea that I'm not going to put out there just in case someone wants to steal it because I think it's original. I think it might be the first one ever done. Um, I forgot to in my last video before this or the last couple. I can't remember. I said I wanted to you know, give some, not inspiration, just some insight and shit after every video so you guys can get to know me better and give you guys some advice that, uh, I don't know, may help you. I'm not sure. Um, and I just want to say, I'm not sure if I said this in one of the other ones before, but, you know, trust the process, you know, whether, you know, you're in school to become a doctor, you're in school or to, to do whatever, or you're in a trade or you're doing video creating or any type of whatever it is, you know, trust the process. Um, don't worry about what other people are doing and how successful they are and, uh, don't rush, you know, into things and don't uh expect certain outcomes you know expect failure there's going to be failures you know along your way and uh you know just respect the grind and uh just live in the moment really enjoy what you're doing and take it all in you know live for the moment um that sounds very cliche but i am a suspect of not doing that uh i find myself constantly in my head wanting to be somewhere where i'm not and not enjoying what i'm doing right now and it makes it very hard to be happy sometimes especially when your whole livelihood is kind of based around you know making these videos that's kind of what it is for me i've put everything into this so um it's hard to get lost that way but from my point of view from someone that experiences that and wishing i was more successful and you know all that just live in the moment trust the process uh i think hard work uh 
beats skill every time. That's my opinion. And uh, also, guys, on the screen right here is my phone number. Text me. I'm going to respond to everybody I can. Somewhere on the screen is my Snapchat and my Instagram. Go follow me. Go add me. Um, I don't usually promote any of that shit in my videos, but I figure I should start, uh, you know, learning to market myself a little better. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. New videos every week. I know I missed last week. Um, you know, it's tough, like I said, from the very beginning when I first started making videos again, uh, kind of by myself, that it is tough to film um, when you don't have a core team or a, a filmer for that matter. So I'm working on that. New videos every week, I promise. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, it helps me out a lot. Really, it does. All right, peace.